Hello and welcome to the Art Market Podcasts. I'm Fiona Patterson and I'm here with lighting designer David Howie. Hello David, how are you? Hello there, I'm very well indeed, thank you. Good. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about your background and where you studied and about your designs? Well, my background, I, I do come from a, um, a family of artists. My grandfather was a, a well-known oil painting uh, artist, oil, oil painter, and uh, he was was part of the stage group, and my father, after him, was very good with watercolours. <clears throat> but it was never promoted in the family because my father could never make a living out of it, so uh, I can't paint, and that's the result of it, really. But I, I, I'm not formally trained in any, anything. It's just I come from a, a, a slight engineering background, and I've just applied this to the, the lamps that I'm making, really. So where did you come up with the, with the idea of, of making the lamps out of ordinary objects? About, I don't know, it must be about four or five years ago now, that I uh, virtually retired from framing and wanted, wanted something else to do. And it was just, uh, I can't actually put my finger on it. It was just perhaps something I saw, perhaps just an idea, I saw an item that was going rusty and thought, hmm. Perhaps I can make a lamp out of that. I, I, that's, that's about as, as much I can tell you. Really. So whereabouts are you based? I'm based in Yarm, which is uh, near Middlesbrough, which is part of... Well, we're, we're not actually part of North Yorkshire, but we're pretty much in North Yorkshire. What inspires you? Everything, really. It's just I like, I like to make things. And the idea of picking something up, for instance... An old um, exhaust manifold from a car that I found in a rather oily puddle in a garage. And I just said, look, do you want that? And he said, no, no, just take it away. And I made it into a really nice, really nice lamp that um, sold immediately. People thought it was really good. And, and that was just a piece of scrap metal transformed into something that lives on, as it were. So you see beauty in unusual objects and things like that, and everyday objects, really, because that's, you know, you make, you make yeah. lamps out of hoovers and things like that, so it's... That's it's, right, yes, yeah. yes. I'm, I'm standing next to a hoover now. <laughs> <laughs> Is Sorry, it a lamp? A hoover, a hoover lamp, yes. <laughs> Not a Dyson. Are people scared when you come out of their house that they'll suddenly, you'll suddenly, like, you know, be walking out of the door with something that they've got, a household object? Oh, that'll do, I'll have that, I'll have that. Yeah, well, I've never actually accosted anybody. <laughs> It's always the first time, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So what, what's been the reaction from customers when, you know, obviously at the art market, you've been doing the art market since it started, haven't you, pretty much? And, uh, um, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. What's been the reaction from customers on your the stand? The reaction's always fantastic. I mean, obviously not everybody buys, and I know that they're not everybody's cup of tea. You know, they're a bit marmite really. But... The reaction from people has been absolutely stupendous every time I'm there. And there's, there's people that visit the art market on an annual basis or biannual basis, and they always come to see me and say hello and see what, what new stuff's on the go. Have you got a lot of collectors? I'm not sure, really. I, I, I did have somebody buy three, so I suppose they would qualify as a collector. Yeah. And strangely enough, just today, somebody phoned me up and uh, I'd made a lamp for them last Christmas and they want another one this Christmas, so that's a good sign. You do special commissions for people? Tell us about a recent one that you've just done. The wedding so present one. Uh, now, Edwardian shower in brass with the... Uh, was the shower head against the wall on a, a pipe coming down to two taps at the bottom and out of the shower head are five bulbs hanging on little brass shafts coming down, each one at a different level to depict the, the water coming out of the shower head and they can be switched on by using the taps at the bottom of the shower, uh, one tap turns three on and the other turns two on. So you can have a, a variety of, um, you can have a different lighting arrangement. And they love it. I they love it. that. I love that you're, that you're kind of, obviously, the first of all, it's the visual impact, isn't it? But, the, but mm. then the fact that what was used for something else is now used to turn on the light, which I think yeah. that's, that's genius. I try, no. I try to make the switches a bit different, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there was one, I've made, two, oh, 
Yes, I've made two of these, and there might be a third one coming up in at the end of the month. But there's the, the old ticket machine yeah. that the bus conductors used to have. And you know, you, you might not remember, but it had a little dial on the top. It went from nothing to nine. Um, and it, depending on what, what sort of fare you had there, they, had, they, they dialed it up. And I made that into a switch and a dimmer switch. So you, you'd sort of <laughs> turn the dial around and the light got brighter or, or dimmer. I um, love that. I and love people, that. people really, really went, they, they, they like that a lot. So what do you love about doing the art market? What do I love about it? Everything. You want it in one word. I mean, um, I like well, I like the people that run it. I, I like the people that uh, that generally turn up because they're they're looking for something different. And if you want something that's a little bit different and you want it um, um, exclusive, shall we say, then it's to be. Was you ever worried when you first started doing your designs? Was Was you ever worried? that they wouldn't sell? Or was it just something that you just thought, I'll do this, I'll see how it goes, and um, I'll see if I can make a business out of it? I always worry about uh, them, them not selling, because if they don't sell it, I've, I've done something wrong. Mm. Um, and I, I know that it, it, if I think something looks absolutely fantastic, I really hope that <clears throat> other people do as well. And I'm not going to cater for everybody, but if, if I ever went to the art market and never sold one, I'd be very very disappointed quite alarmed really yeah I don't think and I've never ever been and not sold and I think last last November we sold seven of that so that was quite good that's amazing Good, yeah. So, um, for the for the listeners, we're this year we're doing a sealed auction. What are you going to be providing for that? There's a, an old um, pocket bellows camera. You know, that you, you take the front flips down and the lens comes out and the, and the end of a, a, a little set of bellows. And that's mounted on a, a tripod with an, an old flash gun reflector above it with the light and a, um, a little bulb in it and a, a switch on the back of the camera body. Um, so I'm, I'm just donating that to the auction. <gasps> that sounds amazing. I think there'll be lots of sealed bids on that one. So when are you actually doing the art market then? What day are you, what days are you it's doing? It's the, uh, the end of the month. It's the 29th. So you're doing the 29th, 29th. late night shopping, um, yes. 8 till 10, and then the 30th, 10 till, 30th. 10 till 4. That's yeah. it, yeah. That's the one. Fantastic. And is, is there anybody that you're particularly looking forward to, to seeing? Do you, do you actually have time to go around the art market when you're there? I don't have a lot. My wife sort of browses around and, and um, hopes that we sell a, a lamp or two so she can spend the money. Um, <laughs> the um, no, I, I I just like going there. I, I don't I don't have any favourites particularly. The first art market that we ever did, we bought a a large frog that was um, it wasn't um, Brendan's, but it was a friend of Brendan's who had made it. David Meredith. Yep, it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Val loved the frog, so we bought that with the <laughs> the money from a sale that we'd made <laughs> about ten minutes before. Brilliant. Um, that that lives at home. That's that's really good. And Val has bought some jewellery and had jewellery made by Adele, who who was quite often at the art market. I really like the fact that artists buy other artists' work. I think that's a really good thing. It's appreciation. It's a good isn't it? Other artists have bought lamps as well. Yeah. Been really, it's been really encouraging. It's really encouraging. Well, I think as well, if you're if you've got a creative mind, you appreciate um, the time and effort that goes into something and the art form. Mm. You know, getting people to buy one another's work as well and support one yeah. another because it is a very supportive network at the art market. Well, Victoria bought a lamp. She bought one. Got it for her mum and dad. Fantastic. For some wedding anniversary, I think it was one of the two. Yes, and this time round, it's all about light. So yes. you're going to feature quite strongly. I hope so. <laughs> you can never miss my stand. No, you it's always, can't. It's, it's, it's always, always very out. bright. Yeah. <laughs> it's always very bright. Oh, well, thank you so much for talking to us and look forward to seeing your stand as always on the 29th and the 30th of November and see what wonderful creations, lighting creations you have. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you very much, David. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. If you'd like to know more about the art markets, go to www.artmarkets.co.uk. Thank you for listening.